<laughs> of the defendant, the husband mm -hmm. of the victim. Uh, Ken, do, do you think he gets called by anyone here? And if he got called, how would he react? I, I mean, you think, I think he's a great witness for defense purposes, but, you know, the problem is the prosecution's going to beat him up and cross-examine him over the fact that he's having an affair, and that's going to go to motive. And, you know, that, that's the great story that they're going to try to sell. But the fact of the matter is, this story is about 30 years too late. And how reliable is anyone's memory? I can barely remember what happened last week. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, I, I certainly wouldn't want him on the stand. If I were representing uh, the defendant in this case, I wouldn't want the husband on the stand. All right, the big, the big thing I'm going to look out for is if he does show up at the courthouse, which side is he going to sit on? Is he going to sit on the side of the victim, his wife, or on the side of the defendant, his wife? It'd be fascinating. <laughs> Vin, Vinny, if you were prosecuting, would you call? Would I call him? Yes, yes. I would. Uh, right. he, and he'd Me probably too. end up taking the fifth. It would be yes. my guess. And, that, and that'd be great. Yeah, well. <laughs> and that would be good for me. All right. right. We're going to continue to track this one. We've got a trial date, folks. We don't have trial dates on all these cases because of the COVID shutdown. We do on this one, April 9, 2020.